Hello, welcome all to the Mirror Sphere. How are you all doing? Um, this video is just my reaction to the new Dune trailer that just dropped. If you don't, haven't seen it, uh, I will put a link in the description to the IGN official trailer. Uh, that's the only one I could find. It was the actual official trailer and not someone else you know, reviewing it. Um, so, what do I think? As you know, I have just finished the Dune book not too long ago. And I was just my first read through, and I watched the original movie recently on uh, HBO Max. And I did have some problems with the original movie. It was still pretty good, but you know, a lot of the things I, I noticed from the original movie or the old, I don't know if it's original or not, it's the one, whatever one they had on, uh, which was the sonic weapon. And I thought that was way out of place. It was not in the book at all. So I had a problem with that. Uh, what did I think about this trailer? Uh, my reaction was it looks great. Um, did anything really stand out to me that was obviously different? Um, there's a lot more talk from about him actually telling people about what his uh, his insight. In the book, he doesn't really explain what he sees as a future. He kind of like acknowledges that he sees a future and he's scared of that future. He does not want a jihad throughout the universe because he knows all the death that will could cause that. He wants to prevent it. And so he tries a way, and at least in the first book, I haven't read the other ones, to stop the jihad from happening. Um, and he, he kind of tries to observe it by taking control of the empire in a different way. Um, But I still, I really enjoyed it. You really see a lot of the aspects from the book in this in this trailer. Um, you see the main, a lot of the couple of the main characters. I think, you know, he's supposed to be around 15 to 19, I believe, is when the book ends. It's like he's in his early 20s, maybe. I, I'm pretty sure because I think he starts off. He's 15. And it's nine years. It's either seven or nine years later. I cannot remember what the life of me. Um, you definitely get to see that the force shield looked really good. The body shield that they explain, uh, the knives they use blades a lot in this in the in the book. That was very apparent. Uh, you see a couple of the the, the travelers, the space benders that was there. Um, the, the worms look is what I could see of it. Look really cool. I don't know. I am excited for it. I know. I I just you know this day and age is hard to get excited for anything. You just you have this anticipation that something is going to go bad. But I will give it a no. It's a big book and it's not going to be easy to translate into one movie. Several movies maybe, but one movie will be hard to do. Cause that book was thick. It had a lot, a lot of detail and a lot to explain. Even in the book, it was hard to take it all in. So, it becoming a movie is very difficult. You know, I had the same problem with Aragon. I liked the movie until I read the book, and I realized how bad Aragon was from the book, and it bothered me. So, even even as I'm doing my own story in my own book, you know, if someone ever wanted me to do a movie from it. I don't know if I would allow it because I don't think it would translate to a lot of action at all. Maybe an animated series? Yes, definitely it would work because it would be serial. You would be able to make the characters, you'd be able to show all the, the intro, you know, all the cool effects and everything. I don't know if it would be possible to do it right in real life. Could? I just don't know. It would be difficult, that's for sure. So. You know, when books become movies, most of them don't work really well because it's hard to take something that could take days or weeks to read into three hours. I understand that. A lot of people do. So, am I going to judge the movie harshly? Probably not. I will... I'll judge it harshly if it's really woke. I will have problems with that. But if they stick to the original book as much as possible and feel the book and they really get the magic and the understanding of the world that was built uh, by the author, I think I'll like it. Um, 
other than that, I think it's great. It looked cool, but it's a trailer. So I can't judge a movie on a trailer. Uh, unlike, you know, some movies you can. <laughs> but just, I don't know. I don't know. I I want I, I to watch it. I definitely do. Uh, when it comes out, I don't know if it's coming out in theaters or what. I still don't have a theater near me, really. There's a small one. I don't even know if it's open anymore. Our big one's completely closed, boarded up. And we have a drive through that's like half an hour, 45 minutes away. So, I don't know. I hope. I hope we come to the theater. It'd be cool to see them, like, be able to go up to Kansas City or something. You know, see IMAX. That'd be great. But that's a four-hour trip for us. <laughs> I don't know. I want to drive four hours to see a movie. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Um, the, the outfits look great. I think they really... Uh, kind of caught the aspect of the, the outfits I'm interested I think it looks really good and it has potential so there's hope hope that we can get a great movie fantastic movie out of this and I haven't really watched any movies since I don't know I haven't been to a theater since Lion King you know live action that was the worst movie to end my movie my thing on yeah but yeah, that's all I really had. I just wanted to talk about the trailer. Um, I'll have a, I'll have it in the description, like I said. If you haven't seen the tra the new trailer, go watch it. You can click on it. It should bring you right to it. Um, there won't be any. I won't spoil anything. I won't really talk about too much. I, I can't show the trailer here. I know it'll get claimed for one and two. I just, I don't have the capabilities of sharing screens with my phone, so I know. Maybe I will, will, I could do a live action later on sometime when we do a live stream or something, but, but yeah, um, I hope you all staying safe, stay healthy, be good to each other. I know I, I make that sound a lot, don't I? <laughs> I hope you're all being good. I hope you're all doing well in this time of craziness. And I hope you, you know, subscribe and keep following me here. I hope we get to, I keep growing. Anyways, be good. Enjoy.